Yep, it's just like you're imagining it. We're going to talk about the rules of the game. Hi there, how are you? So, from the last video, I was left feeling like pretty naked. <laughs> Cause, well, exposing yourself, talking about your insecurities is no fun at all. So, what we're going to do today is basically cover up. <laughs> Cause we need some balance in life, baby. <laughs> and what a better way to do that than with rules. You see what I did there? Cause rules also include like dressing codes, Dressing code means like you have to wear something, thus you're not going to be naked. <laughs> I don't know, man, it's just how my brain works, so... <laughs> so when it comes to braces, rules are basically going to be your best friend. Because it's something new that you feel it may change your behavior somehow or change your life somehow, but you don't know exactly how, and for that you need the guidelines. Uh, if you're curious and you want to know what information was given to me the day that I put on my braces, well, here I am. And I also brought a list that was given to me. I don't actually know if I'm like allowed to share this, but here I am being a savage and breaking the rules. <laughs> As I've mentioned like a couple of million times by now, I live in Italy, <laughs> so every initial information that was given to me was in Italian, but, so even the list is in Italian, but I'm going to translate that for you. And I get it that you may want me just to post a picture of it and get done with the video, but I told you, I don't even know if I can share this. Plus, if you need the translation, even if I put that on the screen, you can just like copy paste the text to Google Translate. Plus, you'd be missing all the fun by me translating that, so... <laughs> and I'm going to pretend that the last one is a true reason why you're still watching this video. <laughs> so, let's start with the rules. The first one, um, I, I have them here, like this is the, the page, and I have put in like some notes in here, so I'm going to put like a, this is a white uh, page. And so I can start with the translation. I mean, these are like my daily mantras, so I know them by heart by now, so it doesn't even matter the language that they are in. I know the info because I kind of see them frequently. <laughs> so let's start with it. So it basically says here that this is all information useful for those who have braces. And um, I mean, they exclude the ones that use the Invisalign because for that, there's another story. So first rule, and that's a shocker because it said like, always remember to clean good your teeth. Uh, brushing doesn't harm braces. <laughs> and remember that when you go out, you have to take always a toothbrush with you because, because there is a great probability for food to get stuck in the metallic squares and in the metallic wire. Well, this of the toothbrush is going to be weird in some situations, but we have to build some discipline. And at this point, it doesn't matter if you act like you are the only person in the room who has teeth and needs to take care of them. Like, be extra with everything, right? <laughs> Second rule, you should avoid biting onto food, even those that are tender. It is better to pre-cut everything into little bites and then chew with your molars. Uh, then you should avoid... Oh, this is the part where you know you are in Italy because um, they make some examples of the food that you should avoid. And first of all, it said like raw carrots. Okay, we all know carrots. Second, I'm going to pronounce it the way that it should be pronounced. Torrone. It is like basically a nougat confection made of honey, um, eggs, sugar, and uh, most of the time it's also nuts, like um, almonds, hazelnuts, mm, pistachios. So this is way too solid. So it's a no-no for your teeth in this moment. And you should also avoid the Parmesan crust because Italy, so Parmesan everywhere. So you need to have a rule to avoid that in these situations. <laughs> and then like bread crust. But, okay, we know bread. Uh, you should avoid also chewing gums and soft gummy candies. Okay, so basically you need to create new eating habits. Fun, right? And by fun, I mean anxiety. Third one, 
it is forbidden to bite your nails and uh, pants hats uh, like like this ones yeah this are uh, no no like you should forget about them uh, because you shouldn't mess around with your braces because they can crack remember that each time that one of the metallic squares is unhitched it so we'll prolong the time that you need to have your braces on. Well, in here, my advice to you is that you gotta be smart at this point and create some new bad habits <laughs> because I get it. You wanna do everything right with the braces, but low key, you also wanna rebel because you don't want like braces to take over your life. Which they're basically going to, but let's not talk about that. Like, why put negativity in life? Like, no. <laughs> Fourth one. The initial, uh, the metallic wire is uh, really soft and tender and it can move. If that um, bothers you, you can try and fix it on your own or you can call on your dentist. But remember that uh, if it is hurting you, you always were given the wax so you can put it on and... Uh, you can avoid your pain. Well, I haven't had any problems, like it hasn't moved, I don't think it has moved with the checkups that I have done, but a yes to the wax though, because woo, that saves your life. <laughs> Fifth one, it may happen that the next day after you have put on your braces or you have gone for a checkup, you may have, like, you may feel, uh, you may have sore teeth and uh, sore gums, and this is normal because the break means that basically the braces are working. But if this uh, goes on for more than 24 hours, you should call your dentist. I have felt them for more than 24 hours, but this point was like really confusing to me because I couldn't like separate the two things, like were they hurting or were they tight? I don't know, so I, I didn't call, but even if I would have called, it would be like saying, hi doctor, you know, the braces are hurting now and um, I'm over them, can you please take them off? I'm like, it doesn't actually work like that, so like, get used to it. Rule number six, um, while you have your braces on, you may experience and you may feel like there is going to be a gap creating between your teeth and you shouldn't be scared about them It's not more than normal because it means that they are doing their job and they are correcting the position of your teeth If in any case you have any doubts, you shouldn't be shy and you just call your doctor For this one, I haven't yet experienced any movement in my teeth So I'll keep you updated if when that happens <laughs> Number seven uh, never miss or, or skip your appointments that you have with your dentist because it may impact the overall work. Always follow his advice and you will see great results on your teeth. Well, uh, I can see the positivity that they tried to put in there with that uh, closing note, but I don't know about this one. I mean, I only believe in facts and uh, not in hope and theory <laughs> so it may sound weird but even though i have braces i don't know how or if they can actually work because well hear me out just a second like i have had or i am used to seeing my teeth only at this shape how can i know that they are going to be different what if they don't want to change they can't be changed they are going to be stubborn what then? I mean, I have trust issues, okay? <laughs> so just give me a break. <laughs> so we are done for the day, okay? That didn't actually work out as I was planning it to happen, but <laughs> let's let that one slide, okay? <laughs> so this was the theoretical part of it, but we like action, baby, right? <laughs> so in different videos, I'm going to share with you the action that I'm taking with each or any of uh, these points that I shared with you today. Uh, for example, like dentist appointments, uh, cleaning them, eating habits, like basically how I'm facing this new reality, okay? <laughs> but at least good news for the day is that i'm done okay so <laughs> i really hope that this was useful to you somehow 
and and this is where i have hope you see they feel me <laughs> see you next time bye